Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to Inner Angler Fishing. I'm your host, Chris Gogan, and today we are no longer in Florida. We are back in my home waters, Massachusetts. Today we are out searching for striped bass, one of my all time favorite fish to target. They're fun, they're plentiful, and they fight like a freight train. So we're going to start this morning. We're running a little late. Uh, I wanted to be out for sunup, and that is not the case right now. We are uh, about 7.30 or so this morning, but we're gonna start off trying to find them with some top water. And then if that doesn't work, we'll switch over to paddle tail swimmers and stuff like that. But uh, let's see what we can find this morning. Stay tuned. Just had some fish break literally right behind me. There we go, fish on. I'm pushing up into this corner, not finding anything, and then I hear him behind me. I'm not a bad fish. Good way to start the morning. All right. Not bad, not bad. pulling me back out to where the fish were feeding. All right, buddy. Come on. All right. It's not a bad start to the morning. Nice striper. Target species. Super healthy, fresh fish. It's got a couple of sea lice on it. That's what we're looking for, making sure it's not a holdover that's been hanging out with us all winter up here. The fresh uh, fresh fish will have these little, I mean, they're harmless, but they're little um, sea mites. And uh, they'll usually be on the body, the tail. They're just external, but it's a good start to the morning. Let's get a measurement on them and then we'll let him back in the water. Pump this open. Come on, buddy. All right, so we've got, we're starting with 24 inch fish, not too, too bad. All right, let's get, let him back in the water and we'll move on. So we weren't doing so hot on the uh, top water. So I switched over to small paddle tail and we, at least we got some small ones. I mean, they're a lot smaller than we were hoping for, but. At this point, uh, small fish are better than no fish. So, not bad. At least it's something, right? Let's see if we can find another one. There's one. Little guys, but it's all right. A little better. A little bigger, not too too bad. All right, maybe find a small concentration. Uh oh, easy release. 
I'll take that all day. Bloop. There it goes. It's also an ultralight. This thing's only rated for a half ounce. Yeah. Yeah, I got most of my hits last night using the uh, the jumping minnow like a like a darter. Keep my rod tip low and actually keeping it underneath. But last night is a lot choppier. See the follow hooked or a little better? Better fish. Much better fish. Much better fish. Uh uh uh. Is he gonna go down? I mean, here you could walk across almost. Come here, buddy. Nope, he's not ready. Spring fish, man. They're feisty. Yep. That's not too bad. I'll take that all day. There you go. I had a couple last night that took a couple of swings. Yeah, you know, like I said, I'm pretty sure I dropped the keeper last night. I'm not wearing a tail hook. <laughs> oh, I'm bleeding. It's from fishing with Alex. I never used a um, a jumping minnow until last year. Yeah. yeah. I mean, for an effective lure, they just look cheap. You know what I mean? Yeah. Right in the corner. You gonna shake yourself loose? Make life easier for me? No? All right. It's biting down on the grip, so I'm like, hey, you gotta let go to, to, to go. Yeah, right? I'm pretty sure when we're fishing down by your rock that they follow it for a while. Oh, God, yeah. They wait for it to come up that, like when you hit that ledge. As yeah. soon as you start skipping up that ledge, they smash it. They may have been on it the whole drift. I've had them fall right to the jet. Yep. You want to let it swing all the way in. Well, and you know, as a predator, that makes sense. You know, if you've got a heavy ledge or you got that rock wall, like you know, you have the advantage because they have less direction to go. Like they can go left, right, or up. They can't go down. They can't go forward. So it, it makes it easier for you to actually connect with dinner. Oh. I, I went way out. It's 
Spent all morning in the kayak getting blown all over God's green earth this morning. I've already caught more fish since we've been here than this morning. Oh, something's on me. Yeah, I see it. I see it. Oh, I... Oh, <laughs> I was watching. I was watching. It's still in. It's there he is. <laughs> <laughs> I love when they do that. Awesome oh, that's a good fish. He's, he's not no. And the thing is, I saw him swing for it. I didn't feel it, and I set the hook. I'm like, rookie, just rookie move. I love spring. Yep. Yeah. These are fatter than last night. Last night I got some skinny ones. I think there are some freshies. Some of them are group was saying that depending on where they migrate from, those longer skinnier ones. Was it a longer migration? No, it, it, they're actually there um, close to north. Oh, I gotcha. Different, oh jeez, no, I need this back, buddy. He's just trying to take my grippies. Uh, from I went straight out to the point. Whoa! Whoa! Ho, ho. Woo! I think I leaned back so far I didn't get it on camera. I said that like I'm in the canal. <laughs> Looks like someone threw a cinder block in the water. Not very big fish either. Okay, actually, probably low 20s. I need 26 or better for a striper cup. I didn't realize there's a limit. No, 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 I've got two 26s and a 27 and change for this week, so. Oh, he's going, he's going right at your feet. Yeah. yeah. There you go, buddy. <laughs> really? Nice, healthy striper. All right, everybody, that's gonna do it for the video today. Uh, real quick, we're gonna go over the gear we were using. Uh, most of these fish were caught on a bone-colored rebel jumping minnow. Great topwater uh, lure. As you can see, there's a couple of different ways to, to fish it. Uh, the reel I'm using is a Pen Slammer 3500. Got that spooled up with 20 pound braid, 20 pound floral leader. But other than that, nothing huge, but a great day of fishing. We struggled a little bit on the kayak trying to find them. But once that current turned and it was on the outgoing uh, tide, we were able to get into some off of the shore. But hope you liked that video. Please click like, uh, please subscribe to our channel. That'll help us out tremendously. And click that notification bell. That way there you're notified the next time we post a video. But other than that, until next time, thanks for joining us and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.